Now let me show you how to connect to a hidden network because it, the process is a bit different than connecting to a normal network. The main thing is, since I was using Aerodump NG, I put my wireless card in monitor mode. So if I go and try to connect, nothing's gonna happen and I won't even be able to discover networks because as we said before, you can't connect to networks when you're in monitor mode. Monitor mode is only used if we wanted to capture packets that are not even sent to us. So it can't associate with one specific network. So to connect to a network, you need to be in managed mode, which is the default mode. So you can put your card back in managed mode by doing Airmon ng stop. And then you put the wireless card name. So if you started it using the first method or the third method, you're going to do LAN 0 moan. Or in my case, I started monitor mode using the second method. So I'm going to have to do iwconfig mon0 mode managed. Of course, in both of these cases, you have to bring the card down, do that, and then bring the card up. Now an easier way to do this and just to avoid all confusion regardless of the way that you enabled monitor mode, all you have to do is just disconnect the card. So that's what I'm going to do physically disconnect my wireless card and then reconnect it back. Now when you do this, if I do if config, you won't even see the wireless card in here. So we have to go back to the devices menu, USB and attach the wireless card. And for me, it's called Atheros right here. So if I do that, that's going to connect my card again. So if I do if config, you'll see that I have my LAN 0. And if I do IW config, you'll see that my LAN 0 is back into managed mode. So it's in the default mode and I can use it to connect to networks. Now to connect to a hidden network, we're going to go to settings. So I'm going to click on all applications and I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go on network. Now, if you actually, if you enabled monitor mode using the third method, if you go on networks, you won't see anything. Again, it's going to say that your network manager is off. So if it looks like this, that's fine. If it doesn't look like this, then go back to your terminal and run or start the network manager again. Because when you do airmon ng check kill, that kills the network manager. So just do service network manager start and that will start the network manager for you come back here it should look like this and if it's looking like this then everything is perfect now since we want to connect to a hidden network you won't see the network that you want to connect in here so you can see that i don't have my target network in here so i'm gonna go on connect to a hidden network and then it's going to ask me for the network name. So I'm going to put test AP like we've seen. Because in here, if we go back to the result of Aerodump NG, you'll see that the name of the network was test AP. Then it's going to ask me to put the security of the network. So again, if the network is using web or WPA or WPA2, then you can specify it from here. In my case, it's not using anything, so it's set to none. So I'm just going to connect. And as you can see, I managed to connect to the network. If we go on the settings, now this network actually does not have internet connection. That's why there was very low data going in. But as you can see, I'm connected to the network. I have a good signal strength. I've got an IP address and I have the IP address of the uh, default gateway. And I can do anything I want now on the network because I'm fully connected to it. So when it comes to connecting to a network, you need to keep in mind that your wireless card has to be in managed mode, not in monitor mode. There is a number of ways to do that. The easiest one is just to physically disconnect the card, connect it back, and then look for the networks. If you go and look for networks and it tells you that the network manager is down, if it's off, then all you have to do is just run service, network manager start, and that'll start the network manager for you. Then you can come back, connect to a hidden network, put the network name, and then you'll be able to connect.
as I said, hidden networks can make a major obstacle because if the network is open, you won't be able to connect. If the network is using a password, then you can't even start doing the attacks that we're going to talk about until you know the name of the network. So your first step is always you need to know the name of the network.